Well, I just want to say that uh, I ordered another kerosene heater because I'm curious about this 100% cotton wick. I think that's really why this heater works so good with uh, ultra low sulfur, sulfur diesel fuel with one ounce of 90% um, uh, isopropyl alcohol per gallon of ultra low sulfur diesel. Um, so I ordered a old time perfection heater. Um, I forget the model, 1550 I think it is. And I'm going to test it when it comes in with some ultra low sulfur diesel. And I also have this um, <clears throat> carbon monoxide meter. And uh, we're going to test it with that. Now, I know I tested this one with ultra low sulfur diesel. I didn't smell any bad smells. So I figured the one thing that you can't smell was carbon monoxide. So I bought this meter and I checked it for several hours and it said zero. So I didn't see nothing, nothing was coming out, showing on up at that meter at all. And the meter does work because I tried it by the car and it went like full tilt, you know, by the car exhaust. So it does work. So uh, we're going to try this out with an old style uh, kerosene and oil heater. It probably uses home heating oil. And I know when I bought this back in 87, they said you could use diesel fuel with it, even the old style. But I tried that and it was stinky. But the new uh, diesel fuel, the ultra low sulfur, sulfur diesel, is much more refined. Um, it works great, but it is 100% cotton wick. So we're going to find out exactly, you know, if, I'm assuming it is the 100% cotton wick. That's why this works so well. Uh, we're, so we're, we got this perfection heater uh, in working condition, good shape, on the way. And as soon as I get it, we'll start testing it with uh, diesel fuel and see how it works out. And uh, then we'll have the answer. You just got to go old school.